Growing up in Barbados, one of the many tropical pleasures is enjoying fresh, unprocessed coconut water, scooping jelly straight from the shell, or biting into coconut as mummy graters it for sweetbread. Coconut vendors found along the main highways of Barbados serve it fresh from the shell. So on arrival to Barbados and coming from the airport, you can pull over, grab some coconut water and jelly, and watch the coconut vendors skillfully cut the coconuts with a machete. I'm okay, guys. Fingers. All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm not. I'm oh, not good at this. No good at it. But we we'll leave it to the professionals. <laughs> or cutlass in Bajan terms. However, with new government regulations, this tradition may soon become a thing of the past. It may seem like an easy job, but it's not. Here's a glimpse into the life of a coconut vendor. My name is Zeke and I'm a coconut vendor. So most people see this as they just come, they get a coconut, they get a water. Like I want you to let people know this ain't easy work. It ain't, it ain't easy is a main thing. It's, it's, it's mentality first. Mm -hmm. Then the body will work itself in. Mm -hmm. And anybody could be strong on but if they ain't got any money set for it, it ain't make no sense. Mm -hmm. It ain't make no sense. Yeah. How often do you do this every week? Like every climbing? Day. Every day. Every day. Every day you're climbing trees. Every day. And you have like a, you got like a relationship. A rope. I mean, oh, a rope. Okay. It's, more, it's a, basically a rope. What you got? Uh huh. There you go. And so I just course and should be so course first mm -hmm. before I venture too far outside. Mm -hmm. Because I won't venture far outside and I ain't got nothing on the back of the track. Mm -hmm. So I go from my neighbor, from my surroundings first, then head out. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay. What's the average of all coconuts you think you collect per day? Average? Yeah, average. Uh, we don't we don't count them singly, so. Mm -hmm. like, but like a load, a full yeah, load? Yeah, like a load. So it depends on how the truck look, mm -hmm. or whatever the case is, and quality, different quality in coconuts. Mm -hmm. So we tend to look for more water. More Once water? Once get water, the jelly will fill in itself. Oh, okay. The jelly later we can come in afterwards? Yeah, I could just find jelly easy. Oh, okay. The water is what we're we really looking for first. Okay. What about some of the issues you, you encounter when you're up there? Just now? Yeah, like what, what sort of things you got to do when you're up there? Well, I truly don't really go up. Like, the only thing up there that I mostly fear, well, I don't want to say fear, but would be a sampi or sometimes a wily, a bird. Really? Mm. Wily? Yeah. I, I, don't fear rat, I don't fear the rats. The rats just run from you. The rats just run. But the wilies, like, like them is fly out surprisingly. So oh, when you push so it, your head, like, you. they will jump you. Yeah, they will yeah. startle you if you ain't know what you're doing. Uh -huh. So uh, they, no matter what you go, always go a hold on. Mm -hmm. Always go a hold on. And his shoes, his shoes the shoes, the shoes there. The spikes help you to get up and down easily. Yeah. And yeah. then I realize you're working with the gentleman here that you guys have a system, a police system. Rope, yeah. Yeah. That's it, I guess that's to help make sure the you don't damage them by because in my mind, okay, you just throw them no, down, yeah, but just, nah. nah, yeah, they will burst. Mm -hmm. That's defend the purpose. Mm -hmm. You won't burst the pin here when you go cut them. Mm -hmm. So. That's basically for right now, mm -hmm. but we can head out now. Mm -hmm. Continue. Awesome. All right. As a coconut vendor, Zeke maintains a mutually beneficial relationship with home and property owners. He removes the coconuts, which can become hazardous projectiles and a nuisance, and he trims the trees. In return, vendors like Zeke are able to earn a living from this valuable service. Did you have a fear of heights before? Or like how you just like just up and up and climb. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is start off as fun. Start off as fun? Okay. Just climbing and eating for Okay. Not to sell on it, but just for fun. Just for fun. That makes sense. Have you ever fall? <laughs> Three times. Three times. Can Last I mean? time is the most severe. Yeah? Yeah. Jeez. When I had a, uh, last time before I fall, I had a phobia. I had a bit in a little phobia at all. She's like that one I had a mm -hmm. down two years ago. You got over I it? Get, yeah, get over it. Nice. get over it. So people don't recognize the danger that goes into it. Yes, so people recognize it, but they don't acknowledge it. Yes, that's true. They don't acknowledge it. They don't acknowledge it. Yeah. Like after falling three times, yes. you went again. You're still doing this. Still doing it. So you love it? You like money. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, men, you like money. Men just write book, book for free and bracket themselves. That's true. Back on the book. That's, that's true, that's true. So you're doing it for... But there is some love of it. Yeah? yeah? Love, you enjoy when I you meet people. I love keeping the people healthy. Yes. <laughs> Despite the dangers of climbing coconut trees, individuals like Zeke risk their lives daily to provide fresh coconut water to Barbados. 